Hi, this PowerPoint will help you do partner work successfully when you're in class and make the most out of class time. What makes partner work challenging or difficult? Well, maybe you don't know your partner. Maybe you prefer to work by yourself. Maybe you're shy. Maybe you're too chatty. Maybe you think you're smarter than your partner. Maybe you think you're not as smart as your partner. And maybe you're not confident about your English skills or your other abilities. But those are all excuses. How to make the most of partner work. First, come prepared. This means you read the learning target and success criteria. You are present and aware in this class at this moment, no matter what the class is. You read the material and you looked over the assignment instructions and your technology is ready to go. Also, use your nonverbal attention. The tone of your voice and your body language is a huge part of the nonverbal communication, the things that aren't spoken out loud necessarily. So that means you turn and face your partner or if you're side by side, you have a common shared workspace. You do not have earbuds or music playing in the background. You don't have other tabs open like YouTube or Netflix, Spotify, etc. You're going to listen to the speaker with an open mind. And please don't listen just to respond with your point of view. Listen to learn. Take turns. This means each person gets a chance to speak. Each person gets a chance to listen. Use a graphic organizer or a sticky note to keep track if you're not sure. Each person may use a sentence starter to begin for support. No judgmental behaviors or put downs. You may disagree with the idea, but do not put down your partner. Support them. Finally, make connections. This means you build on each other's ideas. Be mindful. If it's something new, notice it. Respect each other's thinking. Connect to yourself, the text, the question at hand. You can say, ah, oh, I liked it when you said this because that. Or your idea reminded me or made me also think about this. So when you're practicing, I know this may sound silly, but always introduce yourself to your partner. Just remind them what your name is, who you are, things like that. And practice saying the learning target in your own words every single day. And then maybe your partner will hear something that they can add on to or something that they can say, no, I think it really means this. And when you're doing turn and talk again, and make sure you, that you take a moment and reintroduce yourself and practice those skills. We have uh, discussion starters and frames that will help you find the words that you need to talk. And again, back to mindfulness. What do you want to get out of this class? What do you want to get out of this year of school? Think about things you're looking forward to. Maybe it's in the moment, a project, a way of thinking, something new. And always think like, what is the best thing about you? You bring a lot to the conversation. Have confidence. You can do this.